Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, welcome all again in my new video for your class 6. And we are going to do chapter 0 again on page number 10. Right? So, we have done page 8 and 9 in my previous video. So, today we are going to do page number 10. Right? Pajdi. Our uh, topic for today that is Paris, La Ville Lumière. Paris, uh, the city of lights and as uh, you are knowing very well about Paris and we also know that we are, uh, we call it the city of lights. Why do we call uh, Paris the city of lights? Because there are two reasons. Because the street lights, they were invented for the first time in Paris only. And second thing that we, we are not knowing that Paris played a essential role during the moment of enlightenment that is why also we call Paris la ville lumière right then uh, we are going to do uh, about some monuments and uh, churches museums so let's start with the voici the celebre musée cathedral et monument de paris means there are some uh, famous museums, cathedrals and monuments of Paris, right? So, let's talk about some monuments, fine? So, first we are talking about La Tour Eiffel. Tour Eiffel means Eiffel Tower and that is also known world over. And uh, here we are talking about the engineer who built Eiffel Tower and his name was Gustave Eiffel. That is why it was also named after his surname, Tour Eiffel, right? And then we, uh, here we are knowing that it took only two years to build. It was the smallest time to build a tallest structure in France, right? And it was uh, 1887 to 1899. And the uh, second thing is uh, this one. Notre Dame. Notre Dame is a cathedral. Here I would like to mention what is the difference between church and cathedral. Cathedral is the biggest church of the city and church can be small, church can be big but cathedral is considered to be the biggest church of the particular city. Right? So Notre Dame is a cathedral. It is not just a church, it's a cathedral. Fine? And then the L'Arc de Triomphe. L'Arc de Triomphe is a monument like we have India Gate in India. It is also the sign of victory or symbol of victory for us. Same way the L'Arc of Triomphe, L'Arc de Triomphe is a symbol of victory in France. Fine. Uh, let's come to the museums now. Here first we are going to learn about Louvre. Louvre is one of the historical museums in France and it is situated in Paris. And then we have uh, Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay is a national museum there. And it is situated on a uh, railway station. That is why it is also famous. But why Louvre is that much famous? Louvre is a museum where we can find Mona Lisa. Though it is a historical museum as well, but it is famous because of Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa is a sort of painting. It's a historical painting and it is kept here. So uh, let's come to know uh, why Mona Lisa is that famous. Mona Lisa is a sort of uh, painting where you'll find a lady in that painting. And if you are putting that painting on, on one wall, and you are looking at that uh, painting from any corner, you'll find that that lady is looking at you. Whether I'm standing here, she'll look at me, here again and here again, you'll feel like that that particular lady is, Mona Lisa is looking at you. So I guess you are through with this concept. Fine. Now come to the next page. Uh, students favorite page that is uh, Disneyland of France fine Disneyland is called Disneyland only in France also uh, but the characters of Disneyland 
they are named little different right so first one is snow snow white blanche neige we call it blanche neige the uh, here you will see uh, snow white she is called blanche neige fine then we have aladdin you can see aladdin here aladdin say aladdin right aladdin then you can see donald duck here here you'll see donald duck right so uh, donald the canar canar is duck so canar is duck and donald the canar fine and then we have mickey mouse here you can see mickey mouse here can you see hey right? mickey lasuri mickey lasuri right then we have goofy right goofy is called dingo what do we call goofy dingo fine so here uh, are few uh, characters from disneyland and we we came to know how do we uh, call them in french fine so today we learned about uh, the city of lights means paris then we came to know about some monuments then we uh, discuss a few monu uh, sorry museums here yeah? two famous museums and then disneyland characters fine let's come to the next page here here we have uh, a little bit new words for you la vocabulary vocabulary is vocabulary or vocab so i am reading it just to give you the pronunciation here uh, la cathedral cathedral then le drapeau français french flag l'escargot escargot uh, we can say snails le fromage cheese le musée de louvre museum louvre museum then la mode fashion le musée d'orsay museum of orsay or orsay museum you can say then le parfum le parfum is perfume la tour eiffel i filter then le vin le vin is wine then we have la ville lumière la ville lumière is city of lights fine now uh, let's discuss few exercises here here you have relier les colonnes or relier les nom de image you need to match these images with the names so first question is here so first symbol is french flag so le drapeau français so you need to match it with b then cheese cheese fromage so you'll match it with a then here you can recognize louvre louvre museum here so you need to match it with le louvre c part then we have le vin wine so you need to match it with e le vin and in the corner of this page you'll find la tour eiffel la tour eiffel here and you can match it with d part you can match it with d part right so the second question number 2 here you need to find out which word is it so first one is louvre second one fromage third one drapeau or parfum it is parfum then mod fine then you need to color this flag you need to make a french flag here and here are some questions so first question is what is the capital of france paris then how many years 
did it took to build eiffel tower two years then name one famous tourist attraction you can say uh, la tour eiffel musee d'orsay uh, how many colors do we have in french flag three and you need to write them fine then name the tallest structure in france france that is tour eiffel so that's all for today and we are going to meet in our new video next week so i hope you are getting everything if you have any doubt any query don't forget to text me or call me on my personal window thank you bye au revoir